If you're considering moving to Penticton, you're going to want to watch this video first because I'm going to be going over the pros and cons of what it's actually like to live in Penticton, British Columbia. What's going on everyone? It's your favorite realtor here in the Okanagan, Russell Mortlock with the Mortlock Wilk real estate group and if you're looking to buy or sell real estate in Penticton you're going to want to give me a call at 778-392-723 or you can go in the description below there's going to be a link directly to my calendar and then you can book a call with me at a time that's going to work best for you and we can see exactly what it would look like in order for you to purchase real estate here in Penticton. Let's dive into it. What are the actual pros and cons of living here in Penticton? I'm gonna give it to you straight on exactly what it's like so you know and can make an educated decision if Penticton will be the right place for you to call. Let's start off with con number one. It is a bunch of retired people. <laughs> All jokes aside, the medium age of Penticton is 52 years old, where the largest amount of the population is between 60 and 64 years old. So one of the cons of actual being in Penticton, in particular if you were a younger person, is that the demographic is mostly retirees and people over the age of 52 with the medium age there. Con number two of living in Penticton, and this is going to go for almost everywhere in the Okanagan and something that you're just going to have to accept, and that is the forest fires. Uh, so just like we had that big forest fire season in 2021 where a lot of people weren't able to go outside for periods of time in the summer, uh, it's just something that you're going to have to accept and be aware of, but it is one of the biggest downfalls, especially when you want to get out on the boat or enjoy the lake. Uh, and if there's a forest fire season going on and there's actively burning fires in the Okanagan Valley, it does definitely affect what you can do in the summertime. Con number three, and then this is the biggest con I think of being in the Okanagan and something that I share almost every single time talking about these cities, and that is the winter haze. So we sit right in the middle of the valley and we have all this water in between, and with all that moisture, as soon as it hits winter time, we do have this haze that just covers the whole entire valley, which for me, I think is a huge bummer. And for someone who maybe gets the seasonal blues, um, it may not be the best place for you or you just have to keep that in mind and make sure that you're just keeping up on your mental health and doing stuff to go see that sunshine. A lot of people will go to uh, the ski resorts in certain areas to have access to some abundance of sunshine uh, on the weekends. So con number four is going to be the wages. So Penticton's medium salary is a little bit lower than what you'd see in some of the other major cities here in the Okanagan. So in West Kelowna and Kelowna, they definitely have a higher average salary than what is in Penticton so giving this a knock um, but this can be totally fine because real estate is a lot cheaper in Penticton so you necessarily don't have to make that wage in order to afford buying a home and at any point after watching this video and going through all the pros and cons you still think Penticton is going to be the best place for you and where you want to buy real estate give me a call at 778 392-723. I'll be able to help you out and make sure that you guys actually find the right home uh, and take you every step of the way, making it an easy, smooth transition to call the Okanagan home. So now let's dive into the pros. Enough of the negative stuff. Let's hear all the good things about living in Penticton because I'm a firm believer and the reason why I relocated from Alberta out to this area is for all the pros that has on it so it definitely outweighs the cons let's hear them. Pro number one is going to be the size so it's 36,000 people on average so it's not a totally small town where you don't have any resources and there's not certain things to do at night time um, but it's not a massive city uh, like some of the other ones here where you're gonna have a lot of hustle and bustle it is really quiet and just like I shared with my number one con that this is why it's attracted a lot of retirees uh, but I would say the population why most of the people choose to live in Penticton is because it does have a smaller population but it's not as small as say a city like Peachland, Lake Country or Summerland where you still get a lot better shopping in Penticton Pro number two is going to be its location. It is located on the southern interior of British Columbia and right in between Skaha Lake and Lake Okanagan. So putting it perfectly located for the people that want to enjoy both lakes. And then you got Skaha Lake, which is a lot quieter than say Lake Okanagan. Pro number three, and this is another one of the main attractions why people come to Okanagan, is the weather. So for the winter, we get very limited snow here in the Okanagan and especially in Penticton. Not saying that it doesn't snow, but we do see around an average temperature of minus four. 
And then the whole reason why everyone comes here is in the summertime you have an average temperature of around 28, which is just beautiful, especially when you get to jump in all those lakes and enjoy the weather, making this one of the biggest pros. And why seamlessly almost a lot of people end up relocating here uh, is because of the weather. And it's super cool because before a lot of people used to be snowbirds and they would go down south and they have to travel where now I see so many people instead of doing that, they actually just have one main location. They live there all year round and you can stay here in Penticton. It does have a mild climate where it doesn't fluctuate too drastically and the winter isn't too bad. Now leading us in from the weather to the fourth pro, this is going to be the beaches. So Penticton is situated in between Lake Okanagan and Skaha Lake with Skaha being not as busy as Lake Okanagan so you can definitely enjoy that lake lifestyle where a lot of people who live in Kelowna um, definitely talk about how busy Lake Okanagan is and how fast paced it is. It's tough to get your boat in and out of the water. Where in Penticton you don't have as much traffic, you don't have as much tourism too. Um, so getting to enjoy these parts of the lake and kind of the slower area is really nice and I, I do hear people, one of them who are big boaters, they end up going out to Penticton just because it's way easier to get a boat slip, it's way easier to get your boat in and out of the water and boating is the main reason why they come to the Okanagan. Now let's move on to pro number five and this is gonna be the no speculation tax. So this is gonna apply for all the people that want secondary homes or vacation homes that aren't occupied for a certain period of time throughout the year. I'm very pro on Penticton for this reason because you're not going to be at these shelling out some extra money just to have your secondary home out here if it is sitting vacant like if it was in Kelowna in some areas in West Kelowna then you do have to pay the speculation tax if it's not occupied for a certain period of time throughout that year. I send almost all my clients who are really open to anywhere in the Okanagan to look at these areas that do not have speculation tax if it is for a secondary home. So if you're someone that's looking to buy a secondary home and that vacation home, there's a lot of really awesome lakefront property or lakeview property at good prices here in Penticton. So give me a call at 778-392-723. I'll be able to help you out, make sure we find the perfect place for your family to vacation to. Pro number six, and this is probably the biggest reason why most people choose Penticton over other areas in the Okanagan, is its real estate prices. It is one of the more affordable areas to live in all the Okanagan. The single family home price is around the $698,000. This is a massive difference between say Kelowna, um, just being able to get into the single family market. This is cheaper than what an average townhouse sells for in Kelowna. So you're gonna be able to get that backyard. You're gonna get a home that checks all the boxes at a relatively pretty reasonable price. Townhouses have a price around $537,000 and then condos come in on a range of around $422,000. So for those first time home buyers, you might potentially be able to get a townhouse and definitely a condo under that $500,000 range, which will save you on land transfer tax, which just can be a huge saving around $8,000 for those people who are struggling to get in the market and don't quite have enough saved. Penticton could be a great place for you to get in because you can get a good townhouse and a condo under this $500,000 mark. Um, that's going to suit your needs. And if you want more information on what the real estate prices are here in Penticton, or you want to go ahead and buy something, give me a call at 778-392-7238. Or go in the description below. There's going to be a link directly to my calendar. Book it at a time that's going to work best for you. And we can go over everything on what you'll need and what it'll look like for you to buy real estate here in Penticton. And then for all the people that are undecided, you don't know exactly where to live and you're, and you're going between should you be in Penticton or Kelowna, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video next because I go over the pros and cons of living in West Kelowna.